Hi, I'm Steve Knutson. I'm a Microsoft MVP for Office Apps and Services. And today I thought I would talk to you about the Microsoft 365 archiving features within SharePoint Online. So this feature is part of the SharePoint Premium um, uh, options. So there's a whole bunch of features, including intelligent document um, AI things, um, all the stuff which used to be in syntax essentially, um, as well as backup and archiving. So uh, the, the purpose of archiving is to move content from your uh, main tenant storage off to lower cost storage. So if you've got um, your tenants at capacity and you want to free up some space and reduce your costs on buying additional storage, this is a great way to do it. Uh, it costs about a quarter of what it would uh, cost to just extend the storage on your um, SharePoint online. So um, the way the process works is we go into our admin center um, and in the SharePoint admin center, we've got our list of active sites here and you'll notice this list of archived sites. So in my uh, site list, I've got this site here called Old Stuff. Um, I've been away, I've talked to the owner of that site. Uh, the owner said, I don't need that Old Stuff site anymore, um, but I would like to keep the content for a period of time. So um, if you've got a retention policy assigned to the site, that retention policy is honored by the archiving. So it will age out content perhaps at the end of that, arc, um, at the end of that retention policy if it's got a disposal process or a delete. Um, then that will actually be honoured at the end of the process within the archive. Um, and also, the other thing to note is that we're storing this information contain, still retains any security sensitivity policies assigned to it are all, um, are all still honoured through the process. So over on our, um, so I've selected my site, um, and then from the context menu here, I'm just going to choose the archive option. And it's going to ask me, um, uh, show me a bit of information about the site and ask me if I want to archive it. And you'll notice it's got here the storage amount uh, when the last site activity was. So you probably, as an admin, want to go back and talk to your users about this before choosing an archive. So I'm going to archive the site with the button down the bottom of the screen here. Um, and that's just going to move that site over. Now you'll see when it, uh, it says here, if the site is part of a group, then the other functionality of that group will continue to be active. So if it was a team, for example, you'd still be able to use the chat functionality um, in channels, but you wouldn't be able to see the associated document content which is stored in SharePoint because we're only archiving the SharePoint part of um, the environment. So I'm just going to go confirm. Now, now that I've done that, um, Microsoft's also going to give us a wee warning here because there is a cost to restoring a site from archive and bringing it based on the capacity of that um, site, so how much storage you're actually using, um, they give you a seven day grace period. So you can recover the site within seven days if you've made a mistake uh, at no cost, but if it's longer than seven days, then you'll um, incur a cost per gigabyte to bring that back. Um, and it's um, something that you need to be thinking about before you archive a site and think, I just want to bring that one back quickly. So I'm just going to close that dialog box. Now what happens is it's gone from my active sites list, and if I go to archived sites, you'll see it's now showing up in here in my archived area. Uh, you'll see um, any information about uh, the crash and date, the owners, and so on of that, of that site over here, and the size of the site. If I want to recover that site back from um, archive, um, now what you'll do here, I'm just going to go into here, and you'll see if I click onto the URL for that site, it's going to give me a message saying the site's been archived. If I wanted to recover that site, I would just go back over here, select the site, and go reactivate. When I reactivate the site, if it's within seven days, no cost. If it's after seven days, there is a cost. Brings the site back. Um, the site's now back in my active sites list. If I choose the URL for that. Now I can see the site and the content, including um, any documents and so on within that site structure. So super easy to bring the, the site back out of archive. Um, in order, a uh, prerequisite for this is to have your uh, storage, um, a storage, storage subscription set up in Azure. So I've got an Azure storage subscription here that I've created. Um, this is for billing any costs which go over the um, uh, over and beyond the, the costs which are currently, uh, sorry, the storage costs which you're currently incurring. So uh, if you have capacity in your storage, uh, storage capacity in your tenant, Microsoft doesn't charge you anything until you reach the end of that. And then they start charging at five US cents per gigabyte per month for any data over and above that which is, as I mentioned before, a quarter of the cost of just extending your SharePoint storage. So um, there's a quick overview of archiving. Um, hopefully this has been useful. It's a super easy to use feature. I quite like it. Um, 
I would recommend um, having a look at this if you're buying a lot of additional storage for SharePoint and saying what can we archive um, if we need to really keep it um, and um, and go from there. So um, yeah, hopefully this has been helpful. Um, thanks very much.